What is good YouTube? It's your boy Jay Clark back with another YouTube video. And today I'm gonna be showing y'all how I went from this to this. Today, yes, we will be going over my dunk journey. Um, I first was able to dunk in the eighth grade. I had made some attempts in the seventh grade, like this video right here. But yeah, so basically I'm just gonna be talking about what I was doing throughout that time period and then showing you guys the results. I feel like they're very visible um, throughout the clips. Some clips, especially from my freshman year, are gonna be kind of blurry. I'm gonna need y'all to work with me because they were like old and lost. I had to find them off Snapchat and stuff like that. And they may not all necessarily fit the screen the best. So I'm gonna try to see what I can do with that and zoom in so y'all can really get a good look at it. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. <laughs> so eighth grade is when I got my first dunk. Um, I have a video on here. As y'all can see, it was like really a rim graze. I barely got there type. But from eighth to ninth grade, you're gonna see a big difference. Um, at this time, I really didn't have like many friends and everything. Um, I was really a studious kid growing up. I like to read books and do stuff like that. So I was going to spend a lot of my time at Sky Zone. So if, for a lot of y'all that don't know what Sky Zone is, it's just basically a trampoline park. And I was there like every day, five days a week. I was walking home from middle school, just going right there every day. I had a membership pass type. So I got really good at it, like the dodgeball and all that. But also while doing that, I was jumping every single day, which is working the muscles used to dunk, if you got me. So I went from doing this dunk to really starting to punch stuff like this dunk. So I'm gonna just show y'all the all my um, freshman year dunks and then we'll come back to, into my sophomore year. Now, freshman to sophomore year, um, that's when I started to get it on weights. My dad put me in plyometrics, so we were doing a lot of squats. Um, what's the machine called? Um, Versa climber. So basically, for y'all don't know what a Versa climber is, um, Versa climber they like hook you up to like this thing. It's like a waist. It goes around your waist, and they hook you up, and you jump, and it gives you resistance. So it's like pulling you down as you're jumping. So I did a lot of Versa climber um, squats, just a lot of plyometrics type. Um, had me working on my legs pretty much and i naturally walk on my toes i'm very i don't know if that's called that's not pigeon toe but i just walk on my toes like all of my shoes the, the top sole is wore out and the bottom looks brand new so i'd already been building up my calves just from the way i naturally walked so i'm gonna go ahead and show you all, all the dunks for my sophomore year Okay. Now, junior year is where I feel like I've seen the most like improvement. Um, that's where I had a lot, I feel like a lot of my most memorable dunks was my junior year. Um, from there, I was, I feel like my sophomore year, I was starting to really be able to dunk some of my junior years with a lot of power. And I was able to just go through people and put, take one, two and just go up and dunk it with ease. Um, so yeah, by that time, I had been doing plyometrics and stuff for a full year. Um, I wasn't flexible though. I'm, and for all y'all that may sound weird, but for the most part, a lot of these athletes that jump real high and stuff like that are really flexible. I wasn't able, I haven't been able to like touch my toes until I got to UCLA. Before that, my hamstrings were tight and all of that. So like, it's amazing that I'm the, I was able to be the type of athlete I was in high school with no flexibility. So that's one thing I would really recommend to y'all, get flexible, like stretching and all that, that's really important. I take it serious now. I wish I would have took it serious back in high school because I promise I would have been jumping 10 times higher 
But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all all my dunks for my junior year. Okay, now senior year, um, by this time I had been doing everything. Um, I actually had like a, a full mixtape. It's like, I swear a minute long, I'm gonna have it in here. of just dunks. Um, it became real easy for me. It became real easy. Uh, it's like I had already had experience in the thrill of dunking and I've gotten it all out of my system. So like, and dunking in high school and college are two different types of dunks, I promise y'all, because the amount of energy and effort it takes to dunk and then get back in defense in college and high school is completely different. Um, I wish I would have had enough film, but I really didn't have enough um, dunks this year to really put it in. Like in high school, I was getting five, six dunks every game. This year, I probably had like six the whole season. That would change this coming up year though, because I'll get way more playing time and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get, I had a lot of memorable dunks. I had a lot of, my favorite dunk of my whole career happened my senior year. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go ahead and watch these. Sorry for the quality. Like I said, a lot of these dunks I had to find using Snapchat or old Instagrams and stuff like that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go ahead and watch them though. <laughs> quick note um, before I want to thank y'all for watching this video and going over my dunk journey with me um, I have started memberships now so basically for all my real subscribers and stuff like that people that are really trying to get better using my channel to see what the next step is like I'm gonna have different membership levels so standard level is just gonna get you into like um, raffles and stuff like that whatever I do with the standard level it's like $2.99 you're gonna get behind the scenes access Stuff I don't necessarily post on my name, my on my main channel. The second tier level, you're gonna get like little workout videos, stuff catered towards you. And then the third level, I'm gonna be doing like hopping on FaceTime calls, watching game film with y'all, having like live Zoom sessions of me training, and y'all can train with me type. I'm gonna be like the trainer for you guys in a way. Um, a lot of this, you'll only need a ball in a court, or if you don't have a court, if all y'all are at home or something, because I know we're still in a pandemic or coming out of a pandemic, we could work on ball handling, whatever you want. I just want to be able to give back. The problem I was having with just like saying, just go ahead and DM me first. I was getting a whole bunch of DMs. I got over probably 200, 300 DMs. It's hard to really respond to that while I'm living my life in school, trying to hoop, trying to get to my goals and dreams still. And then also I had a few of people who were just on BS that aren't, don't take basketball serious, that were just trying to like conversate. And I don't mind conversating with y'all, but come at me like with a conversation. Don't like try to BS something to waste my time to go, oh yeah, by the way, I'm a real big fan. I'd rather y'all just tell me off rip because I'll handle that completely different than I'll handle somebody who really wants to get better and strive and be able to get to their goals. So I'd really appreciate that. And then yeah, so the memberships are out now. Uh, hit the link in the description or go to my channel and just hit join. Hey, thank y'all for watching. Keep running up the subscriptions. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Y'all killing it right now. And without further ado, I'm out. Hope y'all have a blessed day.